Who's up first? Okay, guys, ladies, love stuff. All right, so I wake up in the morning, Monday morning. I'm wearing a T-shirt. I go to school. Everything's normal. Everything's all cool. And I do the same thing Tuesday. I don't even know what's up. Wearing the same T-shirt, my friends notice. They just tolerate it. Oh, he's only wearing the same thing for two days. It's okay. Little do I know, I do it the third day. My friends start to tell me something. Oh, I think you smell a little bit. Your, your shirt has a ketchup stain or something like that. I didn't even know. I'm unaware. And now my friends are gossiping about me. I don't like that. Now I look ridiculous. I'm, I'm losing some of my friends. So, <laughs> so, what I come, so what I have a problem with is I don't want that. I want to keep all my friends. I want them all to, to say, oh, you smell good. You, you're, not, you're not stinky, right? So I know my friend Lydia, she has great fashion taste. So what I could do, I would ask her, hey, Lydia, do you have a solution for this? Of course I do. So. <laughs> Her solution is Lydia's closet. Okay, so we have a great team working behind this app to make it as best as possible. So we have Effie up there, and he, she is the designer of everything. And we have Krisha, who is a supervisor. And we also have Christopher, and a great thanks to Elliot, who's our mentor, and helped to make this all happen. And we have Max, and he is the voice of our project. And Angela and I, Lydia, I'm actually the face of this project. And so um, my Instagram account actually inspired us to name this Lydia's Closet. So um, like my Instagram account is solely ba ba focused on fashion things. So they decided to name it after me. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll talk more about the app and how it's going to look like. Effie designed a prototype of how our app will kind of um, look like. So we have a home page where the users can see um, like tips of the day, recommendations, and even a weather setting. Um, so they can dress more accordingly to the weather and be and know what the day is going to look like. Next, um, users can upload their pictures of their wardrobe so they can. Um, have categories such as school clothing, business clothing, party clothing, or sports, sports, and they can see what clothes they have and what clothes they need. Next, um, we have a buy, sell, or trade function where they can sell or tr exchange unused clothing to other users. And next is a pro personal profile where they can um, put in their body sizes and and connect their social media, such as Facebook, or Instagram, or Twitter accounts. And their friends can also comment on their clothing and fashion sense. So what this app is targeted for, is for teenagers, maybe around our age, maybe a bit younger, maybe a bit older, because we're still not completely sure how we'll look in each outfit. Personally, when I wake up, I think, oh, will people judge me for wearing this? Older people, maybe like around your 40s or 50s, you guys know how you want to dress, you, you know how uh, you will look, and you already have this confidence in your outfit. So you don't really need this app. You could still use it, but it's more for teenagers, maybe a bit younger, who's worried about what everyone else thinks. There's also the fact that I volunteer for uh, a lot of younger kids, and uh, most of their conversations in the hall will be like, should I dress nicely for my occasion? Maybe I'm going to a Y2 meeting. Should I dress casually or should it be completely formal? I'm not sure what I'm wearing. We also launched a survey uh, to our friends, so to the right demographics, and 80% of them said they will likely use this app. All right, so from our survey, we gathered that most people wanted a, an app with uh, maximum customizability and a marketplace where they can actually earn a profit. Um, so after doing some research on our competitors, we found that apps such as Vinted and Style, they more focused on one function of like um, organizing clothes or, or just selling. Our app focuses on both, both of the consumer needs. So that's what makes our app all the way up there.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> so to get the name, the word of our app out there, um, we will like create a whole community on social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So as I mentioned before, I know I have a lot of connections through Instagram, so I can help reach out to them to market idea to like get the word out there. So our financial projections. At first, it's going to cost a lot to develop the basics of the app for community development. So the first year, we might have a bit of a loss. But afterwards, because word will get out, Lydia has great connections. She already has a lot of uh, ways she can spread the word to uh, strangers, and they can also pass it on to other strangers, <laughs> and so on. <laughs> so that's why we think after the first year, our, uh, our growth will be exponential. We'll get a lot more revenue. And this could be a great potential business as we can have a great start. So our traction, so we, uh, we uh, have been, uh, there's been articles uh, in Style Magazine that mention Lydia's Closet is great, Oprah's Pick has uh, mentioned us, and so has TechCrunch. So what we're asking for is $500,000. This will be the startup for our market development for our community building, so we can actually provide that foundation for our exponential growth. And that's it. So I think it's a really cool idea. I love that you've combined the marketplace with actual service function that would be valuable to people. Um, I'm not clear on where you're getting the revenues, though. So, are you intent? How, could you maybe explain how you're going to get mm -hmm. revenues from this? Are you charging people subscription? How are you going to get? Um, um, we were thinking know. of get getting revenue by like um, taking a percentage of each sale. Okay. We would so take like five percent, ten yeah. percent every time a transaction is made. We will make profit from that. the marketplace. Yeah. From the marketplace. Yeah. yeah. When other people are selling, we'll take like a small percentage okay. of each. Okay. To, to that point, uh, sorry, I like your product. I think it's very cool too. Um, from a, a revenue from a revenue perspective, what you may want to do is if you've got the traction, is to look at partnering with uh, certain key stores because if you've got a huge following, you know, uh, I can see a retailer diverting some of their advertising money into what you're doing because they know they're going to go directly to the consumer, basically. So you should probably consider that as another revenue stream. Yeah. I, yeah, I like this. Uh, I, I think mom won't like it much because no one will go to mom for <laughs> a fashion advice anymore. Yeah. But um, <laughs> teenagers don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. Teenagers don't like it when yeah. moms do that. Yeah. 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 Where, where does this lead you? Let's say this takes flight, your projections, right? So that's a financial model. But let's say five years down the road, so you've got enough traction, it's a sustainable model. Is this a, you're holding it, you're running it, or is this going to be one of those, there are many apps that have gone through this, right? I come up in space that's already been occupied by other players, but I've stolen away um, a market. And all of a sudden I package this all up and I sell it to you, right? So have you thought about where this would take you down the road? You have an app now, it's successful. What do you do with it? Um, we were thinking like if we ever expand or like get more popular, we might make an, a light version and and a, a like a paid version <coughs> where like they'll have more more features and more like, more revenue. I guess yeah. probably. So you're seeing this as something you run and operate for longer term. Yes. Yeah. yeah. This is long. It's cool. always needed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my question is, you did a great job at talking, um, but the one thing I'm worried about is looking at this from a young male's perspective. I can see lots of our generation especially the, the male side, fe feeling emasculinated. One, just because of the stereotypes at the moment of colors and it's a shame, but body type as well. So how are you going to try and, you said the whole demographic of our generation, so how are you gonna try and hit the 40% that's male? Well. Well, as you said, we like we're trying to make it as customized as possible. So on your personal profile, we have the ability to like put your your like your own personal um, like 
your measurements, everything, and we'll give you tips on how to dress for your body type. As for males and females, we'll like give you tips to like see to like tell you what's best for you. And also, there's like the organizing the clothes, your wardrobe aspect. So like males, um, they they also need like formal business wear and like what they will need to wear on formal occasions and they don't if they don't want to be known they can like not link their social media and they just use it for the closet <laughs> feature and the main image is a female <coughs> i have no problem with that but the pinks the purples the pastels with a female on it is that not going to alienate some of your clientele some males, like I know personally, <laughs> I, I would not, I, I, I wouldn't care, because I know that uh, most females they would, uh, they would, would like uh, males to appreciate a bit of a feminine side, as well. So if they shared that as well, maybe more males would embrace that, kind of that type. It's true. I cry during movies. Yeah. <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> Alright, one, one more question. Did you guys do any research on like what percent of people in your demographic would actually want to use this? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah we, had, we had a graph that said 80% of our serve, uh, of uh, teenagers survey. our age would use it. And, and of those 80%, are they already using something similar? Mm, we didn't ask that. We didn't ask <laughs> that. Okay. Thank you guys. That was great.